So, in my mission to share with you the best learning resources that I can find, I found something else, and I think you're going to like it. It's a website, it's free, it'll teach you Python and R, right from the basics. Uh, it'll also teach you the tools and techniques that you'll need to learn in order to work with data. So let's have a look at the site. I've got it up on the screen here. Now it's earthdatascience.org. So it's focused around earth sciences, but all the techniques that it's teaching you can be applied in other areas where you know you need to work with data. So don't be put off because it's focused on earth sciences. And besides, earth sciences is really interesting. So if you don't know much about it, not only will you learn how to work with R and Python in order to be able to work with data, you'll learn something about earth science too, and that can't be a bad thing. So this is the site, earthdatascience.org, and these are the courses. So if we have a look at the Introduction to Earth Data Science textbook, you'll see what we've got here. So it talks about Introduction to Open re uh, Reproducible Science Workflows, which is really important if you're gonna be working in academia, uh, and it covers Git and GitHub, Python code fundamentals. So all the basics that you're going to need. And then if we move on to the next uh, course, uh, the intermediate one, it covers here time series uh, data in Python, um, spatial vector data, data applications, spatial data applications in Python. Um, and then what else have we got? Introduction to API data access in open source Python, uh, and then data stories. Now, obviously that's really important how to tell stories with data. So that's the intermediate one. And there are other ones too. And what I like about it as well is if you click on tutorials, then it gives you the option of the Python tutorials and you can choose specific tutorials that you're interested in. So you can either follow the whole course through or you can just choose the tutorials that are of interest to you. So if you're interested in learning Python and R in order to be able to work with data and you're looking for an introductory course that doesn't cost anything, take a look at this. I really think you'll like it. Um, a couple of other things I want to mention. The review for Grokking Algorithms will be up soon. I've finished going through the book now and I am getting ready to make that review. So it should be with you in the next few days. And one other thing I wanted to show you, and I know that a lot of people who watch this channel, um, English isn't their first language. And if that's you, there was something I wanted to share with you that has nothing to do with Python or data or R or programming or anything like that. But it is a book, well, it's an author that I think you will love. Um, you'll love it if English is your first language, but if it isn't your first language, there could be no better way, I think, to improve your English than to read this author. Now, I'm sure you've heard of him, P.G. Woodhouse. P.G. Woodhouse, well, he got me through my teens, really, and my 20s uh, and beyond. His writing is superb. It is a masterclass in writing English. So if you haven't heard of P.G. Woodhouse and you're looking for uh, an English author to improve your English and just to enjoy English at its best, then there is no one I would recommend more than P.G. Woodhouse. His writing is sublime. It is exquisite and I really think you'll love it. The next video coming up will be a Python tutorial. Expect that soon, and I'll see you next time.